In this section and in f a few other sections coming, we are going to learn how spreadsheet software helps you analyze data and make business decisions. You'll become familiar with the different elements of a spreadsheet and learn your way around the Excel program. So the question is, what is Microsoft Excel and what is spreadsheet software? Microsoft Excel is the electronic spreadsheet program that comes with Microsoft Office with the Microsoft Office suite. An electronic spreadsheet or a spreadsheet is an application that you use to perform numeric calculations and to analyze and present numeric data. One advantage of a spreadsheet is uh, over pencil and paper is that your calculations are updated automatically and you can change entries without having to recalculate them manually. So some of the abilities uh, or what you can do with Excel as you'll see later in these sessions are entering data quickly and accurately, recalculating your data easily, performing what's called if what if analysis. So what if I sold twice as many units? What would be the profit for example? And then how to change the appearance of information, create charts, and um, use the different functions and formulas in Excel. So let's get started here. So uh, basically, uh, like I said, Microsoft Excel, it's part of the Office suite. So to get to it, you go under Programs, and then you go under Microsoft Office, and then you'll pick Microsoft Excel. As soon as you open Microsoft Excel, you'll be presented with these um, a similar window just like you're used with Microsoft Word. This is the Office ribbon and I'm not going to go through all the settings here and all the things here but you have the Home tab with the most common stuff, uh, common functions within this application. Then you go under Insert where you can insert different uh, additional components, formatting, the page layout, and then formulas. This is kind of different from what you might have been used in Microsoft Word and other applications because it, it deals with uh, calculations. And then you have data as well, a data tab, getting data from other systems and other sources, and review, view, and add-ins. So it's pretty much very similar. It's using the Office ribbon. That's the concept to so keep in mind at this point. It's using the Office ribbon, which is uh, same as in Microsoft Word and other uh, Office applications. Then what you have right below the uh, ribbon is also, this is the function toolbar or uh, where you enter your different functions and formulas where they are displayed. And then right below this is what our, what our um, spreadsheet or worksheet, actually the worksheet view is. And I'll cover those in a few seconds here. Now notice in the bottom here, there are three different sheets here that are by default as you enter or as you create or as you create a new spreadsheet in Excel. Uh, think of those just like pages of a notebook and uh, you can do calculations on the first sheet and then link those calculations with other items in the second one and third one. And you can create new worksheets by simply clicking on this insert worksheet component right here. So notice I uh, inserted a worksheet four. Now you can also rename those worksheets. So you could uh, just, let's say you are dealing with different months of the year. And these are just some of the basic concepts here. Just right click, choose rename, and then you could call it for example January. So you can uh, get the idea here on adding other sheets. And as far as the number of rows and columns here, you basically can insert up to a million uh, rows and 16,000 columns. So what are some of the other components here? Notice that um, as you open this, any of these worksheets, by the way, this is misspelled here. Notice you have these numbers, one, and it keeps on going. Basically, it will keep on going all the way to the million if you keep on scrolling here. And then you have those columns, so the letters A, B, C, D, and so on. So those can go up to 16,000 columns. So you have the rows and the columns here. Now, wherever you click here in the worksheet, that is referred to as the active cell. And the active cell has usually a, an address. So the address for this cell where I have clicked right now, it would be where the column meets with the row here. So this would be B3. 
this next one it will be d6 that will be f6 and notice it also displays it right here so the concept so far is that you have the rows and the columns it's going to have a, quite a few of them each one of them has an address now in these cells you can add different type of data you can insert in here and notice the type of data that you can insert it could be a general number or general type of data no specific format it could be a number currency it could be accounting format type of uh, numbers it could be a date or a percentage fraction or text so basically uh, remember this is you can put text here numbers percentages and formulas uh, we'll cover the formulas shortly as well but all formulas in Excel start with the equal sign So that's an example of a formula, by the way, and we'll get into that shortly. So that's it uh, basically on just getting started very briefly with Excel, the different components of the interface and the different uh, uh, worksheets here. These are referred to as the worksheet. The actual file, when you save it, that is uh, referred to as a spreadsheet made up of the different workbooks. So next we'll go into some of the actual entering of the data and uh, doing some of the basic calculations in Excel.